Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's episode we are going to take a look at how to create some custom animated headlines directly within Cornerstone. Now, some of you might be shrugging your shoulders and saying, so what, I know how to do this and there are some very simple ways to do this where you could click on a headline, go into effects, jump down to a scroll in effect, transform, and you're done a nice little fade in and it works really well one little trick is right here on the bottom if you wanted this to appear as though it's on page load you simply add negative nine 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 percent and now no matter what this should just look like it's an on page load transition and that's looking pretty good but what if we wanted to get a little more custom than that? What if we wanted to transition each word on its own or even each letter on its own? And what if we wanted to create some calc statements for those transitions? Well, it is all actually super straightforward. You just need to know where to look. And so that is exactly what we are going to take a look at here today. So without further ado, let's dive in. So to recreate the headline that we have here, but to add more nuanced effects to it, what we're gonna do is actually create a div container. So let's go ahead and create a div right below this one here. We're basically going to duplicate this headline here. Now, within this div container, we are going to add a headline. So let's go ahead and drop a headline element in there. Now, we want this to be our H1, so we are actually going to make the headline itself, because each individual word is going to be part of this span, so we're going to make the headline a span. Then we'll come back down to our div container here, and on the div, we're going to set the HTML tag to an H1. So we basically have an H1 with some spans inside it, or right now, one span inside it. Now, let's jump back to our main div go into customize and come down to our looper provider. And now you might be saying to yourself, but Josh, I don't need a looper here. I just want to write a headline. Well, that's great. That's what we're about to do. Let's go ahead and scroll down to our string provider. And right here in the string, you'll notice that we can begin typing. So let's type hello and welcome to the world. And we'll do two exclamation points just so we can tell that this one is different from the one above it. Now, right away, you'll notice that not a whole lot happens here, but if we jump into our headline, we go into customize, we click on consumer here, and we're gonna consume all. Then we jump back into the primary tab of our headline, we open up our content, we get rid of the headline that's there, and we go into our dynamic content and we type in looper current item. You'll notice that it is now pulling through, hello and welcome to the world. Now the problem is if we go ahead and we just add an effect to this, we're kind of in the same place we were before. Let's go ahead and add an effect. We'll set this at negative 99999 and it just kind of fades in. Let's actually go ahead and set it larger just like our other headline. We'll just go with a fixed value here of six M's and that's looking pretty good. But again, if I jump out to the front end and I refresh, both of these just fade in exactly the same. But now, because this one is looping off of the string, we can go back into our div container here. We can go to customize. And so now we could come in here and just add each one of these onto its own line because our delimiter is new line. So we could say hello and welcome to, and you'll notice that we're starting to get the idea here, but this isn't easily repeatable. So what we're actually going to do is turn this back into a normal sentence in here. And we are going to open up the custom delimiter under string here, and we are simply going to add a space. I'm literally just clicking the space bar there. And now it's looking at each individual word and breaking it down. Now the problem here is that it's breaking down each individual word onto its own line. And so what we need to do is jump back into the primary tab of our div, jump down to Flexbox, enable Flexbox, and turn on Flex Direction Row. Now, this is starting to look better, but we wanna make sure that we have spaces between our letters here. Now, you could come in here and just add some right margin. So we'd open up something like this and add 0.75, and that makes it appear as though there are spaces between them, but the problem is we're using this as a headline tag, and when this is crawled or read by search engines, it's going to all show up as one word because there are no real spaces between hello and welcome to the world. So we don't wanna use our right margin here. In this case, alternatively, what we wanna do is jump into the item being consumed, in this case, our headline element, open up the content, and right here where we have looper item, we wanna add a space. 
The problem is you can't just add a space. We need to add the HTML for a non-breaking space. So that is ampersand N B S P semicolon. And now as soon as we do that, you'll notice that we have some pretty good looking spacing here. So let's go ahead and close this here. We're going to save. And when we take a look at this on the front end, you'll notice that everything appears to be formatting properly, but it's still just a standard fade in just like our original one was. But this is where the magic happens. Now, because each one of these words is broken out into its own headline here, and each one of these headlines is part of the looper consumer setup, we can click on the first headline here, come into effects, and where we have this fade in, we are going to set a delay. Now again, you might be saying to yourself, yeah, but Josh, if I set a delay of 100 milliseconds here, everything is just gonna delay 100 milliseconds and we end up in the same spot we were before where everything just fades in at the same time. But this is where calc statements and dynamic content come into play. We can actually type in here calc, and if we needed to, we can go into breakout mode to do this. We'll go calc, parentheses, and then we want it to be our duration. So right now I have a thousand milliseconds in there. So go 1000 milliseconds times, and then I just want the looper index number, and then we end our parentheses. Now what this does is this is looper index one, two, three, looper index four, five and six. And so the math here is basically 1000 millisecond delay times whatever that index number is times one times two times three times four, etc. So what that does, let's get out of breakout mode here. What that does when we save, and we come out to the front end, keep your eyes on this section here and watch what happens. Now we get hello, and welcome to the world with our double exclamation points. And that's pretty cool, but we want to speed this up a little bit. So what we're going to do here is take this down to 500 milliseconds, which means we're going to want to change our calc statement to 500 milliseconds as well. We can keep the rest of the math the same. Now let's go ahead and save. We'll jump back out to the front end. And again, keep your eyes on this section right here. When we refresh, we get a nice smooth animation here. Now again, you can play around with your math and have things overlap a little bit on transition. You know, we could come in here and we could say we actually want, even though duration is 500, we want our math to be 300. Now there's gonna be a little bit of overlap here. So when we refresh, one will still be animating as the other one comes out. So you can play around with things like that. Now, once you get this to a place where you like it, if you wanted this to be easily repeatable and you don't always want to have to click on the div and then jump into customize and then edit your text down here in the looper provider, we can get kind of fancy and start adding some parameters. So what if we jump into our manage element, edit parameters, we're going to open up some parameters here and we'll just call this animated headline. And now we're just going to keep things super simple. So I'm just going to add a text field right away. So we'll go type is text area and label is headline. Let's take a look at what this looks like over in our parameters here. And there we have our headline. Now, if you wanted something more like the headline element, you could change text area to text editor, something like this here. And now you could edit your headline right here. I think that's looking pretty good. Now we need to remember our parameter value, which is animated headline. Let's go ahead and close this out here. Let's go into customize. And right here in our string, we are simply going to type DC, P, animated headline, and double curlies. Now, what this allows us to do is simply click on the div, go into our params, and we can type something in here. So I'll type, hello world and welcome to Earth. And as soon as I do that, it automatically animates all of that out for us. Now, as with everything else, you could turn this into a component by adding this to one of your component documents here, or you could simply turn this into a template by coming in here, clicking save template and typing in animated headline. And there you have it, a good baseline for creating some truly unique headlines. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building.